Alright, so here we are. We're about ready to start. We are in, where is this going to take? The, the official, the Quinault. We're about to uh, go on seven days, eight possibly, if this one makes it here. He's already crying and whining a little bit. Tommy like it. Tommy won't leave. <laughs> As you can see, there is a ton of rain. And it looks to be that's what we're going to be faced with pretty much the entire time. But we're all pretty much looking forward to it. It's going to be a good attitude. Really positive attitude. Positive right Positive pause. At this very moment, right now. So Todd's set up and ready to go. You ready to go, Todd? I'm ready to go. How about you, boy? You good? Rock and roll. And this, everybody, is our fearless leader, Barefoot Jake. The baby is not going to go with us, I promise. She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> and he is Barefoot Jake. Hopefully we'll see some shoes on those here for too long. But uh, about to head out. Enjoy it. Wow. There's another Hey, I'm rolling. <laughs> Down the pouring down rain last night, set up our tents. We had to walk five miles in the pitch black dark. Sounds like a made up story, but it's not. We helped each other get our tents up and then uh, pretty much skipped dinner and ate some jerky in bed. We wrote the journal and fell asleep pretty quickly. But didn't get wet once you got in the tent. Warm, nice night. We're up and at them trying to take advantage of no rain right now. And uh, start cooking breakfast, have coffee, and get moving. So break number one of day, this is day one or two. How are we going to count this? This is really day two. Well, Consider day last one night. meant something. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the way last so night, well, this should one. be day like five. <laughs> we, did last night. we did something day one, no doubt about it. This is a whole lot better than day one. Yeah. Much yeah, better. Definitely. Drier. I'm enjoying my We can see. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. How are you liking it, boy? 
if you flip that camera around, you get a better high definition picture. Huh. Well, how's that? So this is, uh, how, how many, what, maybe two miles what we've done today so far? Two, two, two and a half. Two, two okay, and so that's five. We got so we've really done five. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, we don't believe how many miles he we says. We have another 20 today. <laughs> have another 20 today? So that means we've got about 75 miles to go. If you want to know why this guy's name is Barefoot Jake, take a look at what he's wearing versus what this. how this works. So, uh, Chad's right next to me taking a bath. Sight for sore eyes. Um, how many miles did we hike today? Do you know? How many miles? Six and a half miles, which uh, by probably most people's standards is not a lot, but sure as hell felt like a lot to us. Um, Time to make some water because it's time to drink some scotch. And um, probably the best thing we seem to have learned is the more you eat, the more you drink, the less your bag weighs. So it's like rewarding to eat and drink because you know you're helping your bag. And um, anyway, we walked through what seemed like most beautiful lush green areas I mean just gorgeous had an elk bugle at us on the way in uh, last night we had beautiful huge herd of elk with a big I mean I don't know what you call it large elk, elk that's mature but 
back home we would call a large deer, a buck. I mean, the spread on it was enormous. And it was just, it was just, it was just gorgeous. It was awesome. Um, it was a good day. It was a good day. We camp, we're camping a little early today. Um, we're tired. Well, we worked, we worked pretty hard last night getting into base camp. Um, soft and wet rain, putting up our tents, all helped each other get their tents up. So now we probably camp probably two hours earlier than normal, which is not good in a way because we're probably cheating ourselves on what we could see um, tomorrow, which is behind. Um, but we've got a great camp. I mean, this view is just awesome. Look at this. It's awesome. So we're rolling. Are we? Yeah, we're rolling. Okay. Why don't you? Uh, what do you want to know? Why don't you tell everybody what we've been through so far last night and tonight? I mean, uh, last night and this morning. Well, we basically readjusted our plan. We're going to go to the mountaintops. Weather obviously has been an issue to where we've had to readjust. Some injuries have had to make us adjust a little bit. So we basically torn down our packs, ripped out a lot of excess weight to make sure we make it to the uh, Enchanted Valley, which is now the precipice of our trip and right now we're having to get Boyd's uh, food out of the tree got to hang that for bears and anything else but uh, we're about ready to roll it has been uh, wet is not the term what, what would be a good term for it drenched drenched uh, the earth is hydrated let's put it that way nothing out here dies everything no. you think is alive when you're trying to find wood is lying on the ground is actually finding a way to grow. It is. I mean, it's... it will it will fall to the ground, then find a way to put roots down at that point. So everything's very resilient out here. It's beautiful. It's awesome. It's majestic. It's everything you want to say. But the bottom line, it is very inconvenient when you're trying to trek four guys through here at about for 20 miles in three or four days. So, but so far so good. We're still all on two feet. We still all have our breasts, no blood's coming out anywhere. No significant injuries other than the ones we brought. Pushing on. Pushing forward, and we'll make it to the spot we need to. This guy gets best attitude of the award, uh, best attitude of the, the trip awards thus far. He's keeping us going. Peace. I'm also the one that didn't come through with a back injury and a knee injury to come into it with, too. So <laughs> I don't need back surgery or knee surgery when I get done, so probably why my attitude's a little bit better. So, Peace. What day is this? Uh, Saturday, day three. Day three. Twelve oh five.
How you feel? Uh, good. Good. Really wet? I'm really glad cool, you're videoing though. me tugging my shirt in, boy. Can't see that. I'm like a chauffeur. All we got is your your neck up. I don't want to get sunburned, so I have Chad holding umbrella for me. You're welcome. You're welcome. So where are we headed? To the Enchanted Valley, unicorns? where it never rains. It unicorns? better be enchanted. Unicorns that poop skulls. Like double rainbows and lots of gold. So we lost our guide? <laughs> Technically, no. But yes, we've been without him all day today. Hopefully, he's going to catch back up with us. If you went back the other He'll way, went back. back home, I told if him we know home, where he lives. we know where he lives. That's what I told him. The last thing I said when we left the camp, I said, I know where you live. So if he will join us back, we'll pay him a visit a little bit. Not, uh, well, it probably takes about six days to get out of here. We'll just have to rearrange those flights. Yeah. Be good to go, though. We will get our job accomplished, and we'll be done and healthy and good when we're done. Give me, uh, give me each one word to summarize the trip so far. Wet. My exact word. I would use the word moist. I know some don't like it's not that. Not really appropriate. So, okay. <laughs> so I use wet. Wet's good. All right. So this is our lunch spot. Day three. Yeah. Lunch that, time is uh, twelve twenty-two. Sign it off.
We're live, we're talking about our positives. We've taken lunch. We're about, uh, time is uh, 1.27 or so. And uh, Zulu time. Chad, what you got so far? Uh, positives, completely out of my element. Never been in the woods for longer than 24 hours at a time. And now we're on day three, and I feel pretty dang I'm good. I've seen a part of the country that I've never seen before and always wanted to. A little wet, but it's kept me alert, I think, during the process. And I just continually push myself to see the next day, see to get to our goal and make sure that uh, the elements aren't going to stop me. Nature's not going to stop me. I'm going to get to where I need to be. What have you seen that you've liked? Uh, everything. Landscape, elk, um, you name it. Some bugling? Some bugling. A little bit of everything, man. It's been awesome. How about that waterfall? Tell us about that slip. Uh, the slip <laughs> was uh, intended because uh, I wanted to name that creek. It was No Name Creek, and I felt, you know what, this needed a creek. So it used to be Barnett Pass. It's now Barnett Pass. So I now have left an indelible mark on the uh, Pacific Northwest. Awesome. All right, what you got, Todd? Uh, I think the positives have to be I like the food. <laughs> I like the rain. Um, the bonding between the three of us has been great. Um, the scenery is unbelievable. Uh, if we can make it through what we went through on Thursday night, there is no question in my mind we can make it through anything. And all I said all night long during that walk, that three hour walk of six miles was, I can do all things through Christ. Through Christ. Cause I'm telling you what, man, I don't think we could do this without that. I agree. Knowing that, cause this is, this is the most intense thing I've ever done in my life. It's pretty good. This is crazy. How does this compare to boundaries? This is a lot harder. So this tell them about you, what you're talking about between the mosquitoes and the rain. I don't know. I can't tell the difference. I don't know if I don't know if the mosquitoes are more miserable or the rain's more miserable. Probably the mosquitoes. The only bad thing about the rain is setting up and breaking down every morning and not having a base camp and having to move on every day. And that's pretty rough. But it's also pretty aggravating at night to have to make sure you zip your zipper on your yep. on your uh, everything on your tent just as fast as possible so the mosquitoes don't get in and then you spend the next two hours trying to kill the seven mosquitoes that you let in and they eat you up but, as opposed yeah. to trying to zip your zipper as quick as you can to get in your tent without getting wet yeah sure. but they both have their positives both have, both have their negatives but you know this is pretty freaking awesome so, this is pretty awesome even in the rain so here are my positives so here are my positives all right so the positive i have is is getting through this with y'all. I mean, it, I felt it at the beginning of the trip. I feel it now. The people that you're with have such a large effect on your morale. Somebody that's ahead of you moving forward, moving faster, moving, staying the course, has a big effect on me to, to push on through. If I was doing this with one person or if I was doing this with somebody that was as down as I was at the moment, it would make it so much tougher. So having people that are that are worried about something else and trying to push on makes you just forget about yourself. And we really have had to band together through everything. We're using each other's gear now. We're dropping the stuff that's all about individuality and our gear is starting to become more all of our gear. And the choices we make, even each step that we make has an effect on the rest of the group. We slip and fall if we make the wrong slip, going over a creek, rushing water or whatever. We could, we could mess up the trip for everybody. So we really are, as could further die. as we get, the more the more together we're, we're becoming. And um, you know, I was telling Jake when we got started on this trip, that obviously we're all pretty resourceful people. We know a lot of people. I can't think of any other two people that would be stupid enough to go on this trip. <laughs> so it, it just so happened to be that the two people that, uh, <laughs> that I thought of both said yes, shockingly enough. And I don't think we could do this with more people. I think this no. is the perfect size. Perfect size yeah. And, um, you know, um, I keep saying Chad's been real positive. Todd's been real positive. Um, and that's just, it's, it's so easy to get negative, but if you just keep talking about all the things we've been talking about while we've been walking, it just helps pass the time. It makes you, makes you realize why soldiers probably march to chants and cadence and whatnot to ignore the actual pain that they're enduring. Not comparing ourselves to soldiers, but it does it does help. Let's get out of here before that
across that way. We're rolling. What's up? We are on still on day three, and where we were going magnificently. It's been raining for 18 straight hours. 18 straight hours of rain, and the wind has picked up. We got a friggin' ocean blowing right next to us. So tell them what happened. Why, why we're here, where we are. Uh, well, we were gonna make a push for the chalet today. We were making great time. We did five. We did five miles in what, like three hours? Yep. In no time. A great time. So we decided we were going to make the rest of the trip and go to the chalet. And then camp there for two nights. <laughs> camp there for two nights and get a little re relaxation. Well, just on the other side of this campsite where we were going to blow by, there the is, is blown out. It's the Colorado friggin' River, basically. And the bridge has been blown out. So because of the flash flood coming from the top of the mountain, it's basically stopped us. So we're here now. We built this refuge, which was a saving grace, really, because my core temperature was getting really low. Best cup of coffee ever had in my life. It's an incredible cup of coffee. Incredible cup of coffee. Um, it's warm. It is very warm. It, Great it, Copenhagen, too. Boy, do you want some? <laughs> you, could take, you could take this warm water and take the coffee out and just put dirt in it, and I would be, I would be okay with that. Okay, here, let me try that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drink the coffee. I did I'll get you some dirt. <laughs> Oh man. But yeah, so right now we're just begging and pleading for this rain to stop. So we can A, build a fire, or B, set up our tents in some kind of decent manner. I've been doing non ram rain dances. Yeah. And I think I got it all backwards. Yep. So anyway, so here we are. Kind of uh, contemplating the idea of this whole trip. Look at that. Look at that out there. Just sopping wet. Sopping wet. And what do we decide the difference between the word wet and moist? Wet is cold. Moist is warm. Warm and wet. <laughs> and we are not moist by any means. Right now, this is flat out wet. So, anyway. We just got to keep on living. L-I-B-I-N. Woo. Any one of you guys got a joint? Be a whole lot cooler man. if you did. Be a whole lot cooler if you did. Well, I don't want cooler or anything. I want warmer. Be a whole lot warmer if you did. But anyway, so cheers to small victories. Just basic cover and some coffee. And this is what it is. Cheers. Cheers. This is no joke out here. So, uh, just lying here in the tent. Oh man, just drenched. Everything's wet. Um, the uh, my sleeping bag's wet, especially down near my feet. And. Um, we have just tried constantly to call home, find out what uh, what the weather is supposed to look like tomorrow. Could not understand um, what Misty was saying, and um, so finally got uh, got my folks and got the Alabama score, got the weather. Um, we are literally uh, contemplating hoofing it in tomorrow. It's that, just that bad. Travel the other side of the country to do this. And just three days of rain is just miserable. It's getting harder to keep everything dry. But um, anyway, um, did see a lot of beautiful stuff today, but oh, it's just, um, just gets harder and harder to take everything down in the rain and put it up back down and put it back up. I mean, it's just... All right, so there we are. You can see a little bit of the sun popping out. 
That is a, that's a first for us. We haven't seen that in quite some time. Yesterday it rained for 24 straight hours, maybe a little bit more. And we're not talking about trickle rain, it's heavy rain. Um, and matter of fact, this creek that you see right here, it was all pretty much class five rapids yesterday. So much so we were trying to get to the top to the uh, chalet and could not make it because it was impassable. But today, now that the rains died down, it stopped raining, I guess the last night around like nine o'clock or so, right when we got in our, well, right when we got to sleep. And uh, so after about 12 hours of no rain, it's died down enough now to where it's not flash floods. We walked to the place where we were gonna try and pass the other day. It's dried down some, and we're gonna be able to make that pass today and get up to the chalet and complete another uh, step in our goal, so to speak. Once we get there, we'll go to the, uh, We'll go to the mountain pass with some day packs and make it happen. But uh, it's cold up here, but you adjust. And uh, but it's been fantastic. This weather is giving us a good little boost of energy. Yesterday was kind of a tough day with the, just the pounding and pounding and pounding of rain and no cover. Uh, but we're good now, ready to push on and get this thing done. Hopefully, maybe even finish a day ahead and spend a night in a warm bed in Seattle for a night before we have to head back. So. Who knows, but it's beautiful. Um, it's been awesome up here. And uh, time to freshen up and get started for one more day to get to our goal and uh, hopefully finish this thing out. So we'll see you next time. Just walk, dude. I got you. Would you ensure that? No. <laughs> Let me get off this thing. All right, so we have uh, we've effectively pushed through and we've got to the point that uh, I guess we were put on our goal last year. We're in the Enchanted Valley with the chalet. Uh, we didn't know we were gonna make it to this last night. This is where we were hoping to make it yesterday, but the, since the river was unpassable yesterday. 
Last night we talked like about... Um, we were headed out. We were headed back to the car. Yeah, we were talking about Seattle last night, right? We were talking about Seattle a little bit. Uh, but the rain was was pretty severe over those last 24 hours. And like I said earlier, made a lot of stuff impassable. And it was probably, we've seen a few more things along the way that would have definitely been impassable as well. So the good Lord has been good to us today and has uh, allowed us to kind of follow through on what we uh, set out to do and uh, make sure that some of that hard work was for something. And this is something, I know the video, I know Boyd's gonna pan around. The video that you're seeing right now I'm sorry if you're looking at it because there is in, it's impossible to describe what we're seeing here. There's just no way that that picture is going to do any justice to actually how beautiful this is. It's the setting that you dreamed about. It's the setting that you wanted to see. And, uh, and I know it's hard to believe, but I'm speechless. As he says something, <laughs> you got to say something. Uh, I mean, this is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. So Jake, uh, up above Todd's head, right uh right up there that's anderson glacier the lindsley glacier on mount, mount anderson. anderson and are we going to do a day excursion up to it hot dog as long okay. as the weather holds this guy is keeping us alive this guy is a man and um i can't begin to say enough about this guy he's really taught us a lot so uh big props to this guy glad you guys got to see it All right, one word to describe today. Breathtaking. God. Jake guy go whistling by my tent, so I think that means wake up, wake up everybody. So, let's see together what this looks like. I fell off my tent. It's freaking nice. 
Oh God. Oh boy. Hair sopping wet and putting on my Oh god, I can't talk about it. Alright, so day five. Good news. No rain. We are dry. It's beautiful here again. See the sun cresting over the uh, the mountain there. Just getting the tips. We're gonna be setting sail here in just a minute or an hour or so. I have to get some coffee in us. But the one thing we didn't expect to wake up to this morning or this morning was ice. We went from one extreme to another. Now we've got ice over us. But we're warm, right? Oh yeah. Good warm. Well he's the only one with coffee. He's warm. Boyd, you warm? Hell no. I think there's ice falling off your nose, actually. <laughs> there's ice under this hat. <laughs> And Jake, you just this is just another day in paradise for you, right? Just another day in paradise. Jeez. At least it's not snowing. That's true. Not, not snowing, raining. not raining. And we got a hell of a view. I'll tell you that. I took a chunk of ice this big. It was a block off of my tent this morning. I was like, what? Alright, so let me ask what? you this. this. Ice or rain? Which would you rather have? Ice all day long. I'll take the ice all day long. All day. Yeah. So here we are. I can get ready in ice. I don't know that I can get ready in rain. Alright, where are we going today? Up that way. Up. Just around the corner. Just, Just around, around the corner? Just around the corner. Today.
Anderson Pass. This is uh, self-described by Boyd, the most beautiful thing he's ever seen. And I think it'd be hard to deny it. Uh, oh, incredible. This has been um, day five. This is where we did. We dropped our most of the stuff, most of the weight out of our packs. As you can see, they're a whole lot lighter. There's no way we could have did this with a full pack. No, there's no way. So anyway, so we're here. And uh, we got one more final push, which is basically straight uphill about a mile to get to the top of the mountain and that's the pinnacle that's our that's our uh, peak that we're going to go to today so we're feeling pretty drained and according to jake uh, this is only 20 percent compared to what we're going to see in just a minute so we'll see it right now we've we've overloaded on uh yeah we've over overloaded on blueberries which are all over the ground here they're scrumptious but anyway, got one more push to make and we'll be to the top and we'll see you there. Last morning in the valley, we are heading back 
home now, I guess. Five Guys is our destination, correct, guys? Any any good hamburgers? Warm bed, warm water. <laughs> what about that Miller? What about that Coors? Miller, oh, you want some Miller? Got some Coors? Got some Coors? You want some gym, Bill? This is what you do this when you... This beef stroganoff eat pretty good. <laughs> this beef stroganoff for breakfast. It eat pretty good. So what happens when you run out of breakfast food, you eat whatever you can for... Uh, for because the, the, uh, the, calories. the packing Nazi over there made us put all of our food in a tree about, I don't know, six miles back. But if we didn't do it, we wouldn't be here. No breakfast for you. How much you... Didn't you have a knife, boy? Packing Nazi even took my carabiners, man. Didn't you have a knife? I had a knife. Did you have a pump? I had a water pump. What else did you have? I had a... Uh, <laughs> I had a, a dome That's light a, for my tent. Yeah, I had I deodorant. I had soap. Oh, you wanted me to keep going? So I had a, a windmill that you could charge his life for. <laughs> a windmill? Yeah. A windmill? <laughs> you just sit there in his tent and watch Netflix. That's a hell of an idea. <laughs> hell of an idea. Or just bring a little hamster with a little wheel and let him run. All right, so essentially, there's no. when he said clean underwear, there's no such thing as clean or dry. There's levels of cleanliness. There's levels of dryness. My dry bag of clothes right now smells like a foot. But it's it's the dry clothes. clean dry bag. you have at home that you try to bring with you or do you want to see the views that you really signed up for there you go essentially we packed like a bag of idiots when we started this trip a lot of stuff we thought we needed we didn't need and part of the problem was we maybe have known that but the guide Jake told us first night look you guys need to shed this stuff you don't need it if you want to get to where you're going, we got to take it off now. Well, we didn't listen very well to the guy that does this basically every day, all day. And so it took us extra time to get where we were going. But in the meantime, we've learned over time to listen to him. 
and here we are today making great time making it through the woods on top of the fact that we've had great weather over these last couple days so we hope that it continues like that huge morale booster exactly very well said Todd so that being said we're gonna get back to base camp tonight and then we will be out of the woods tomorrow morning around 1130 showers a necessity because we all smell like a bunch of daga mules I've never smelled this bad in my life and I'm pretty sure I can say the same for uh, Captain Seersucker back there. I smell like a patoon. <laughs> anyway, it's bad. So we need a hotel, we need showers, uh, something fierce. Because we would not be allowed back in our work establishments if we smelled like this, they would kick us right out. But it's all part of it. So, we'll see you guys when we get off the trail out here later tomorrow morning. See if I can hit that. Now I've been happy lately, thinking about the good things to come, and I believe it could be something good has begun. Oh, I've been smiling lately Dreaming about the world at one And I believe it could be Someday it's going to come Cause out on the edge of darkness There rides a peace train Oh, peace train, take this country Come take me home again Now I've been smiling lately Thinking about the good things to come I believe it could be something good has begun. Oh, peace train sounding louder. Light on the peace train. Ooh, ooh. Come on, the peace train. It's peace train, holy roller. Everyone jump upon the peace train. friends too, cause it's getting nearer, it soon will be with you, now come and join the living, it's not so far from you, and it's getting nearer, soon it will all be true, oh peace train sounding loud, light on the peace train. It is. Why must we go on hating? Why can't we live in bliss? Cause out on the edge of darkness, there rides a peace train. Oh, peace train, take this country. Come take me home again. Oh, peace train, sound.